Happy Monday morning, everyone. Um, I'm so excited for this week. Um, not because it's Monday, but I guess I could say maybe. But this whole week for my kids is going to be all new. Um, we have a lot planned today and definitely a lot planned tomorrow. But I am running around here trying to get myself together. I first of all moved chairs and desk around um, because my students are starting new teams today. So I always do this every quarter, switch seats. So then this way my kids have new people to work with every single quarter. Um, and then they have a, a better chance to get a super team just switching um, some of those higher students that are always participating in with some of those students who don't quite participate as often but I like to switch it up because you know by the third quarter and at the end of each quarter I'm sorry the kids get sick of each other that they sit next to so it's time for me to change the teams when I feel like they're getting sick of each other and it's about that time so I did that so I changed a little bit and just changed a little bit about the way my um, room looks like tables and stuff you can see in the background like I made that table there on an angle um, just a little bit not too much um, but the other thing that I'm doing today is getting ready for my students transformation so tomorrow is the day I'm surprising my students and I'm transforming my entire classroom into New York City so we've been studying the Northeast and social studies and I wanted to do a little bit more with social studies and integrate all the other subject areas. So my partner teacher and I decided that we would pick a city um, within the Northeast. I decided to do New York and then I have activities for the entire day that are going to surround around New York City and then we're combining our classes together and we are going to be doing a STEM science project. So. I'm so super excited for that. I have my um, backdrop, my cityscape that my boyfriend did for me. He is an artist, let me tell you. But I think it kind of, he told, tells me that I ruined it because I put lights on the cityscape on my buildings. And I told him, I said, I want it lights, I want it lights. So <laughs> it still looks good, but I go, honey, come on. I didn't ruin it. He goes, whatever, they're fourth graders. But I tell him, I said, oh my God, I'm so happy that you did that. So I can't wait to show you that. So after school, I will be here later. So with my partner teacher, and I'm going to have my uh, paraprofessional that's in my room. She's going to help us too. So she's staying after. So I'm super excited about that. And I can't wait to show you all of the things that we have in store for that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in one, like the same vlog video, my transformation, or I'm gonna do it a separate video, we'll see. But um, I will be vlogging about that. If I don't get a chance to do it right after school, which I'm gonna hope to do it, I definitely will be in the morning, but um, it depends how long it would take me to set up. But I have my idea in my head, I have all the components and pieces, so it's a matter of fact of just doing it at this point. All right, I'm gonna get myself going for the day. I will go be on later on to vlog, but um, I have a lot of things to get ready for today and um, just wanna make sure I'm ready. So when the kids don't walk in, I'm not like, ah, I'm running around. I'm calm and collective because that's the goal all the time, right? So I will make sure I, like I said, vlog a little bit later um, and I hope you guys have a great morning. Talk to Hey everyone, I'm so excited. I'm here after school. Um, it is about, let me look up the clock. It's about 5.40, 5.45, so going on to six o'clock. And I am finally finished with my activities and my room transformation for tomorrow. I am so stinking excited. You have no idea. Like I said, I didn't do a major transformation. I did like a mini one, um, but I'm about to show you and show you the activities that my kids will be doing, what they will be receiving for this transformation. And um, I let me flip you around <laughs> so then I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So here we go. So when the kids walk in to my classroom at my door, they will see that um, the, I have a cityscape out there with the lights and they will see different activities that they will have. Um, I also have lights going around 
my uh, cabinet area here so the kids will come in and see that the room has a slight transformation. So let me walk you through what's going to happen. Um, when the students walk in, first of all, I will be having a, this slideshow playing. Um, I will play the slideshow and the kids will see um, the different things, the different things around New York, the most important areas. So let me hit play right here. Sorry about that. So as you can see, if I step back, I'm going to have this playing all day and I'm also going to have this playing on my television that I have here. Um, and then the kids will see different um, places in New York that they can see historically, they can see um, when they go. And I try to do pictures from back then and then current pictures of these places. So that's going to be going um, while the students are in. But when the students walk in, the first thing that they're going to get, I'm going to hand to them is their passport, as you see here. So their passport is going to um, have in here the different regions. So I didn't do anything fancy, but I have Northeast. And then later on when we talk about different areas, Southwest, Midwest, and all the other regions, and they're going to get their stamps at the end of the day for each one. Um, for language arts, when they're in my room, they're going to be getting their handbook guide for Welcome to New York. And in this guide, this is something I'm going to be collecting at the end for grading. Um, but in this guide, you can see they have the activities, a little note from me. They have the little activities where they're using this as a answer booklet for them. So that's what they're going to be doing in each of those activities. So let me walk you through each of these activities as if I'm walking into the door. I'm gonna start with um, this one over here. Um, and the students could go out of order and that's okay with me. Um, but this is called All About New York. So I have in here, not that great with the camera, but that's okay. But I have in here different questions. So they're using your language arts skills to answer the questions all about New York. And then um, they also have in here some questions that have to deal with maps. So they have different maps in the bottom here so that they can see the different things. So they have to answer those questions and put those answer sheets inside or the answers on the answer sheet inside the booklet. So that's all about New York and as they're learning facts about New York State, New York City, the history, um, Native Americans that have um, started here, well not here but in New York. Uh, if I go to my left over by my table here, this is going to be um, the tour guide table. So it's going to be called Crowning Miss Liberty. And over here, I'm going to have my paraprofessional and my um, co-teacher. They're going to be leading this station. Um, and here, the students inside of their packet, they have facts on the lib on um, st the Statue of Liberty. Sorry about that. Um, and in that packet, they're going to go over some of the facts of the Statue of Liberty, some of the cool things that they've learned. Um, and then here, you can see these are um, the things that they have to make the Statue of Liberty's crown. So they get to measure out their heads with strips, they get to cut things here, and they're getting to make the Statue of Liberty crown um, for their heads. Okay, by coming over here in next to where my front of the board is, we have Grand Central Station there, um, we have bobbing for the main idea. So main idea is a skill that we've already worked on and we've been doing a really good job with that. So in here, I don't have anything fancy, but I have apples and on the apples, I have a passage and then I have a question of what the main idea is for the passage. So they would have to write down um, their answer in, on that handbook guide that I gave them, the handbook guide. Um, coming over to the next group of table, um, we're working on inferring, so making inferences. So this is catch an inference, like catching a taxi cab. So on each of these cards, I have cards inside this basket, a couple of them. Um, and in here, they have um, different um, different passages or different scenarios and they have to make an inference and they're writing their inference on the line 
um, in their booklet. Um, coming over here in this part of New York or in my classroom, this is called um, the New York Broadway. So the students here are practicing fluency by doing some readers theater. So I have um, copies of the play right here that the kids are going to do and since New York is big on the Native Americans that were settled in New York first, um, here you can see that um, I have the Native American Cinderella Reader's Theater. So the kids are going to be doing that and I have taped off here on the floor the stage for Reader's Theater and you can see in writing I wrote the word stage. It's upside down because I'm standing on the other end of it but this is their stage area where they are going to practice the Reader's Theater. They can act out and have a good time with it. And when the kids get their passports at the very end, I wanted to share with you too that these are the passport stickers. So I did it on labels and I put New York and I have a little symbol there. Um, so this is going to be in their passport when we are finished with activities to show that they have completed New York. Um, in addition to the Reader's Theater and all of the activities that we have here. My students will be getting um, New York cheesecake. So we made little cheesecake bites and the students will be getting the New York cheesecake. So this, as you can see, is all the activities. My slideshow went down, but that's okay. But you can see, um, I didn't do a major classroom transformation, but I did some. Okay, so I showed you there everything that I'm doing. Like I said, it isn't a big classroom transformation, but it's enough to get the point through for this the kids. And that's what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to come in and actually have a special day. Um, the last thing that we're doing is that science, uh, my partner teacher and I, we are going to be um, putting mixing our kids all together and we're going to be doing a stem project so we talked about in the northeast region how the northeast is big on carrying cargo we talked about all the canals and everything all the harbors where um the cargo and all the goods get shipped from um in the northeast and has always been so for our stem project in science the kids are going to be getting toothpicks marshmallows and tinfoil and they need to create a boat sturdy enough to hold cargo and the cargo is going to be coins it's going to be quarters nickels dimes pennies whoever's boat holds the most cargo is going to be the stem challenge winner so um, the kids are going to take all those materials build their boat. I have a dish pan. I'm going to fill it with water and then we're going to test them out. Um, and it really does work. We've done this before, um, not in this kind of transformation setting, but we've done it before. So that's going to be our science. And that's basically going to take our entire day with all the activities between switching. So both of our classes will get New York and then across the hall when they go to math class she has activities for Boston um, she did not want me to show you her classroom I did ask her but she did not want me to show you her classroom for Boston um, but she did hers very simple too her activities are based around the Boston theme mostly so it's it's very exciting this is my first classroom transformation ever um, and this is my first time doing all of this so I've been inspired by a lot of other teacher vloggers I've been inspired by other people um, who have done classroom transformations and I wanted to do one on my own and, and see how my kids react and see how my kids do. So I am super excited about it. Um, and you know, if this is something you're into, um, definitely think about doing a classroom transformation in your room. It doesn't have to be social studies. It could be anything. It could just be theme related. But the kids are I know they're going to be excited for it. So I'm so excited to, to see this happen. Let's see how many times I can say excited, right? No. But um, tomorrow when um, the kids leave um, and then tomorrow morning, I will make sure I get on and vlog. So this way I can give you the feedback that the kids gave me and show you how the kids are doing. I, I won't be able to record when the kids are here doing these activities, but um, I can definitely get on afterwards and share how the kids are doing.
But I hope you all had a fantastic Monday like I did, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget, you need to use the tin foil as part of your ship too, okay? So are you using that to support it on the side? Yeah, we made double layers just in case one falls on. Okay. Oh my gosh, we need a little sticky. So is, are the marshmallows there like the bottom? No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like this, like we have the boat and then we put these like this under it like this so it would stable it in the water. So you're using the marshmallow ma yeah. oh, you're using the marshmallows as a stabilizer? Yeah, I'm just, to hold this is it? like a prototype, but I don't think we're gonna do this like it would be like a stabilizer so we'd like help it. Yeah, but the marshmallows so you wanna do it on a foggy and flip. Okay. So you might do it on a larger scale then? Yeah, but I don't know if we're doing this. I mean, it's not going to work, you know that? Why do you, why do you think that? Oh, I don't feel like you did this. Oh, what? Ow. And then we make the size down. Like, yeah, like, you have to find it up. For the pennies? Can we combine them? Mmm, that's a good idea. I like your thinking, you sir. Might be able to do it. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Engineers always try. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday afternoon after school. I wanted to get on and recap everything that you saw in the previous clip. Uh, yesterday, I didn't get a chance to get on and explain how my transformation went and how did that day go. So the clips that you saw um, were some of the projects and some of the things my students were doing through this transformation. Uh, when my students first came in, I greeted them at the door and I gave them the passports and I said, welcome to New York City. Please read the board and um, I hope you have a fun time. I just gave like a little blurb and introduced myself as I am their travel agent. So they kind of looked at me at first because I told them that we'll be doing things like this, but I didn't tell them when. So this was kind of like in the back of their minds and they haven't been thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, bam, 
here it was. Their faces when they walked in were priceless. Um, everything my kids were doing was so engaging. Both my classes were engaged all day and everything. And I loved it. And it made me realize that you don't have to be all out and big and all of this stuff. Just something very simple and then having creative things and activities for them to do that's related to your theme is what's really important. A lot of the parents emailed me, a lot of the parents called, and they said nothing but great things about it. And I've never had that many parents reach out to me and say, wow, you've made an impression impression on my child with this activity and what you did. Um, so I am definitely looking forward to more transformations and definitely I'll make sure I vlog each and every single one of them so you guys know. So I also did something with um, my science time, but wait a minute, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to have all this stuff to share with you, so I'm sorry, but um, let's talk about my partner teacher's transformation. She did not want me to put it on the vlog, which is okay, that's all right, but the students came to my room and that was New York City, and then when they went over there for math class, it was Boston. So her activities had to go towards Boston. It had to go towards everything that they did there. Uh, the kids were very engaged there. They enjoyed it also. So I know whether or not if she wants to continue to do this, I hope that we can do it together like we did. But if not, I know I'm definitely going to do it. One thing that we did together was science class. We kind of stepped away from what our, we were normally doing. Um, I believe she's doing plants and animals and I'm doing electricity. So we stepped away from it and did a STEM project. So some of the clips that you see right before this is with our science STEM project that we had at our last period. What we decided to do was take both of their classes, shuffle the kids up together, and half of them came to my room half of them came to her room. So they got the opportunity to work with different people than what they normally work with, which they very they enjoyed a lot. And we were talking about doing that more often, even in math and even in reading, because we're basically around the same areas, um, like we're with our teaching with both classes. So therefore, it would be easier to do. And I think the kids, I'm sorry, like people, we get sick of people. And I think the kids, at a point in time, they get sick of each other. Let's face it. So it was nice, and I got to see some students do phenomenal. But let me tell you what the STEM project was. I gave my students marshmallows, toothpicks, and tin foil. We reviewed how the Northeast is really big on shipping goods. We talked about that because we have the, the ocean and different waterways within the Northeast alone. So we talked about that as the region, and we said in order for them to be able to ship goods back and forth successfully, they have to have a great boat or great ship that could hold the most cargo. So with those three objects, I gave them a ton of paper clips, uh, well not paper clips, I'm sorry, a ton of toothpicks, a ton of marshmallows, and then a sheet of tin foil. And I said, you have to take those three items. You need to build a sturdy ship. We're going to see which ship could hold the most cargo. And the cargo were coins. So I had pennies, dimes, nickels, and quarters. Quarters was the heavy ones. So the kids literally got together and they had all these ideas, using marshmallows as glues, holding the toothpicks, putting the toothpicks as the base, putting it as the bottom, a lot of them. So um, as they were building, gave them a time limit on it. And when there was about 10 to 15 minutes left, it was time to test out our ships. So I just got a dish pan, just a regular dish pan like you get from the dollar store. I had a dish pan, filled it with water, and I said, this is our ocean, our water. This is where our boat's going to stay. So we did boats at a time, put a boat on, and I said, okay, boys and girls, you have to count with me how many pieces of cargo can go on the ship. So we literally counted out the coins, one, two, so on and so forth. And my strongest ship, the winner, held 95 pieces of cargo. 
boy, was that a lot. So the kids were so excited. Everyone kept peeking in. So this was something they really enjoyed doing. And it tied in with the Northeast. So we did our transformation literally an entire day worth of activities. Um, like I said, this is something I will definitely do again. Um, this is something that I will make sure that um, involve my partner with. Like I said, if she doesn't want to, for whatever reason, I am definitely doing it. The feedback was phenomenal. My kid's work was phenomenal. I was super excited and I still am super excited. It was kind of sad taking all the stuff down though, but I'll surprise them next time. So that's all right. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is how my day went. It was kind of crazy, but I just breathed in and breathed out. So we had a fire drill. We had like a lockdown drill, some, you know, the drills that we do. Um, and all of them was when I was in bathroom, bathroom break and we have certain procedures and some of the super certain procedures I couldn't follow because I wasn't in my classroom and I was not going back to my classroom in a fire drill or, or anything like that because I'm not supposed to. So unfortunately I did get reprimanded a little bit for not following the procedures, but I couldn't help it. We were all in bathroom break and my kids were in the bathroom. So I kind of just like yelled in there. And I'm like, let's go. We need to get out. Kids ran out. They followed, they did phenomenal. So I gave my kids a thumbs up and I, and I let them know you did exactly what you were supposed to do. I'm super excited that you were able to follow the directions. You listened to me. You all are here and we were the quietest class. So there wasn't an issue at all. But that's okay. It happens. Once you become a teacher, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Things like that happen all the time. Um, but we did uh, start our opinion writing today. I'm trying to get my kids so interested in writing. And it, I think I'm. it's actually working. I learned you feed them. That's what you do. You feed them. And then they become interested. No. <laughs> That doesn't always happen. So if you're studying to be a teacher, don't just always feed your kids. Please don't. <laughs> but for this one, I did. We were doing opinion writing. So um, we wanted our kids to see and defend which cookie they liked better. So we had Oreos and Chips Ahoy. We gave them nutrition labels. And because we they've had um, nutritionists come in and taught them how to do nutrition labels. So they were very familiar with them. So we had nutrition labels on both of those that we assigned each groups. And then they had to come up with reasons why their cookies better, why they prefer an Oreo over a Chips Ahoy, or why they prefer a Chips Ahoy over, or, over an Oreo. After that, they had to com basically compare and contrast the two cookies so they can come up with the best reasons. So we gave them a little graphic organizer like this. And on this graphic organizer, it says, why is my cookie the best? So their reasons and their evidence. So we did that today and they got, they got to enjoy the cookies. And then on top of it, we're going to take this paper and put this into a four square. And our district uses four squares for our common core writing. So they are able to write a five paragraph um, or make sure they have their details and they're explaining. It just depends on the prompt. So their first opinion writing is going to be them arguing the fact and proving why their cookie is the best with these known facts with their nutrition labels or even with their site. Not so much of well, I like the cookie because, just because, you should get it. No. So the kids did a really great job with that too. I mean, they should. I fed them, right? <laughs> Again, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, kidding. But um, the kids did a fantastic job with that. Their reasons were great. They backed them up. And I think it was like one of those aha moments that finally the kids get to see, oh, now I need to prove myself. I see how I can do that. So I'm glad they were able to get that going. I'm glad they were able to um, situate that with everything. So that's one thing I'm excited about. And I cannot wait to see their writing. I can't wait to see this. And we'll see how it transfers over into a prompt. That would be the next thing. So yay for that. Um, but I promised myself that I was going to leave early because I had after school program yesterday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I do teach after school and I am here later. And 
Monday I was here later. I just need to be home. I want to be in my house, you know? You know that feeling, you just want to be home. And that's exactly the feeling I had today. Um, so I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I know this week, probably tomorrow, I'm going to vlog my last class council meeting. Not meeting, but series, video for the series. So I'll be doing that too this week. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I will chat with you tomorrow, that's the goal. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic night and um, I will see you tomorrow on Thursday. See ya. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Um, as you can see, I am vlogging from my house uh, because I just was super busy at work and you know, I just didn't get a chance to get on and vlog and to say anything. So um, I taught the after school program today. And after the after school program, um, I just kind of cleared off my area and so on. And then I honestly just left. Yeah, I left. So I didn't get on and vlog. Like I, I didn't have any preps. Um, I had it available, but you know, when you have students that have so many needs that you have to meet, it's hard to have a full prep. It's hard to sit down. And, you know, I've changed my workout schedule out because I've been so busy. So I started to work out in the morning. So I'm not getting to work as early as I did. And honestly, I'm not getting up any earlier. Like, seriously, I get up at five o'clock as it is. Um... And I enjoy working out in the morning. I've always worked out in the morning. And I don't know why I changed it. But I'm getting to work early, but just not early enough to get all the things I have to do done. It either is I have too much to do and I have to think about the stuff that I have to do. Is it really important for me to actually do them? So I actually have to go through and like re-look at the things that I say I have to do. Because like I said, I think I'm I'll get a giving myself a little too much and not giving myself enough credit for that stuff. Um, I'm also tired because even though I was like on this so excitement high from the transformation and how my kids were doing and I don't know and my kids are doing awesome but I've, I've been so excited and, and on this high like yay and it's just exhausting me right now. I realize you know as teachers we want to have that all the time. But let's face it, it's just not going to happen all the time. It's just not. So, you know, I, I've been really tired today. Like every time the kids would say something and stuff, here goes me. And I would feel bad because they were talking. Does that ever happen to you? You're just so tired. Um, I also was trying to lay off coffee. Not going to happen tomorrow because I don't want this tiredness to be happening. I need a little pick me up to do so that's that's pretty much what that's going to be about tomorrow um tomorrow is a jeans day so i plan on getting up wearing jeans and being extra comfortable today not today tomorrow but anyway i wanted to get on just to say hello because i didn't vlog when i was at school and um i just wanted to say i didn't forget about you how about that? So I will make sure when I'm in school, I am vlogging tomorrow. Um, my goal is to get the third class council video up and I keep saying that, but I hope it happens this week. I really do. If not, I'm going to have to make a goal of making it in the beginning of next week, Monday, but we'll see what happens. You'll know when I upload and you'll see when I do it and if I do it and, and all that good stuff. But all right. So I'm home. Um, and I'm going to relax, going to eat some dinner, um, and honestly, just unwind, honestly. Um, I need to unwind. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday, even though I wish today's Friday, because I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. But anyone ever, sorry about that. I am just getting tongue-tied and really tired, but anyway. 
I will let you guys go before I don't understand what I'm saying because I'm already starting to not understand what I'm saying and blabbling, babbling, babbling. Yeah, my point exactly. All right, so I'm going to go. <laughs> I hope you all have a great night and get some rest and I need to take my own advice. I will speak to you tomorrow and hopefully I am well rested tomorrow. Um, and I have something meaningful to say. So I will speak to you on Friday, tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Yay. Um, today, we don't have much. We have an academic assembly today. So we're just kind of just wrapping up our week. Nothing big time. Nothing special going on. Um, but uh, just have a couple of meetings. I always have a meeting. I feel like Oprah, well, I don't feel like Oprah. I feel like the audience member in the Oprah show and everyone's like, you get a meeting, you get a meeting, everybody gets a meeting. I feel like I have a meeting the last three weeks. I've had a meeting probably like every other day. Sometimes I had two in one day. So just really crazy with that. But we are here on our last day. Um, today is a report card day. So at the end of the day, my kids are going to get their report cards. Um, and what I love about what my school does is we have an academic award assembly. And during the academic award assembly, we have um, students who get a bringing up grades awards. We call it a bug award. It's so cute. Um, but those that brought up their grade, um, it doesn't matter where they were. Even if they're getting a C and they bring it up to a B or a D and they bring it up to a C. So it doesn't matter where they were first quarter. As long as they show improvements and they brought up their grade, they will get this award. But they have to do that in all subjects because if they brought down one grade, it just defeats the purpose of giving the award. It's to encourage them to do that. And then the next um, award that they get is literally straight A's. So we have students that are literally getting straight A's and they get awards for that. So we recognize that. Um, readers with the reading award from the reading challenge, um, math 24, we have different ones. So I'm excited to see all that and congratulate the kids that get that. And I love seeing my kiddos faces when they're actually surprised. Um, some of my kids are legitimately surprised. I think some of my kids are hard on themselves and they don't think they're getting the award. Um, I hope they don't get that from their teacher because I'm hard on myself and I hope that doesn't come off and that's the reason why they're hard on themselves but um, they're very shocked when they get that award so I can't wait to see some of those faces um, when they're surprised like oh my goodness I got that award um, but that that's the highlight of it oh my god the last two days though I have not been feeling well at all I've been sick 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 um, I feel like I've been coming down with something so what I did today was um, I took some DayQuil. So I have my DayQuil here because I, I don't know how today is going to go. My stomach just feels um, awful. My stomach feels awful. Um, and then I didn't want to call off. I, I hate calling off at work. I feel like it is more work to call off a of work than it is to actually be here. And one thing about me, I haven't even taken off yet. I mean, I haven't been in the classroom because I've had um, uh, I had sub in here, a sub in here earlier because I had um, this is before I was vlogging. I had a workshop. I go to they had sent me to a lot of the writing workshops and whatnot because. Um, I guess that's my strong suit. That's what I was told by administration that ELA is really, I'm really strong in ELA. So they send me to all these workshops so I can come back, teach the staff, so on and so forth. So that's the only time I've really been out of the room. Um, I don't know, maybe that's why I don't really call off, but I do need to take a personal day just to give my sanity and do something I want to do because I'm still working going through these workshops but so that's uh, that's uh, probably why I've been under the weather because I've been pushing 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 so hard but the day quill will keep me going and then instead of coffee in my mug my little contigo if you especially teachers when you don't have a chance to sit down and drink your coffee or tea or whatever get a contigo contigos are flipping 
awesome. My coffee or tea, whatever I put in here, stays so hot. It's ridiculous. Like, it's about going on to 8 o'clock right now when I'm looking. And I will pick this up at, like, 9, 30, 10, and it's still hot. Like, the bomb. Love a Contigo. So if you don't have a Contigo, get a Contigo. They have them in, like, bulk packages at Costco, and that's the most cost-effective. So I get mine at Costco all the time. But what I have in my Contigo is tea. You can see my tea bags right here. I always put two tea bags in there. So I always have, a, right now I have ginger because my stomach is just upset and ginger just calms down your stomach. And um, echinacea, because like I feel like I'm coming down with some things. I felt like echinacea tea will just make me feel better. So I hope so, because I have big plans this weekend. Yeah, so I hope I, I actually am kicking it the last two days. But I went to bed at 6.30, 7 o'clock. I never go to bed that early, so that's how I know I'm definitely coming down with something. But we will see what will happen. But um, since it is 8 o'clock, I am going to be co planning with my uh, teacher that I teach with um, so I'm gonna be doing that and then I'm going to be uh, just getting some papers together so for my day so I am actually probably gonna check back with you a little later if I don't I hope you guys have a great weekend because I know later on I'm going to get on and um, record the fourth video for my class council um, I, I want to do that like I don't care if I'm leaving a little bit later I want to do that at the end of the day so I'm definitely gonna be doing that and then um, and then I'm out of here because I have to go grocery shopping you know how that is but anyway I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend if I don't get back on and enjoy your Friday thanks for watching bye